Good evening, everyone. It's Thursday, January 24th, and the title for today is The Significance of Pentecost. Before we begin, let us do our 7-7 prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you for being alive. We thank you for being here today, and we just thank you for the opportunity to be able to watch your lesson. As we study Revelation, we ask that you continue to open our hearts and minds. In your name we pray. In the outpouring of the Holy Spirit at Pentecost, Acts 2, 1 through 4, confirms one of the most decisive events in history of the plan of salvation, the inauguration of Christ into his post-Calvary ministry as high priest and king in the heavenly sanctuary. Through his high priestly ministry at the right hand of the Father, Christ is able to carry out the plan of salvation to its ultimate realization. As our mediator in the heavenly sanctuary, Jesus works to save us. Through Him, believers may have free access to God and receive forgiveness for their sins. The exaltation of Christ in the heavenly sanctuary was followed by the descent of the Holy Spirit upon the disciples. Revelations 5-6 mentions the seven spirits that are sent out into all the earth. As we saw in the earlier lessons, the seven spirits denote the fullness of the activity of the Holy Spirit in the world. At Christ's enthronement, the Spirit is sent to the church. This sending of the Holy Spirit is one of Christ's first acts as high priest in the heavenly sanctuary. This outpouring of the Holy Spirit meant that Jesus had appeared before the Father and that God had accepted His sacrifice on behalf of humanity. Christ's accession to heaven was the signal that his followers were to receive the promised blessing. When Christ passed within the heavenly gates, he was enthroned and missed the adoration of angels. As soon as the ceremony was completed, the Holy Scripture descended upon the disciples in rich currents, and Christ was indeed glorified, even with the glory which he had with the Father from all eternity. The Pentecost outpouring was heaven's communication that the Redeemer's inauguration was accomplished. According to his promise, he had sent the Holy Spirit from heaven to his followers as a token that he had, as priest and king, received all authority in heaven and earth and was the anointed one over his people. Ellen G. White, The Acts of the Apostles, page 38 and 39. As always, we always encourage everyone to go back and read the lesson. This is a starting point to start. But you can always go back to the original lesson and read more and study more. Tonight we ask that you read Hebrews 4.16 and Hebrews 8.1. What hope and encouragement do you find in the assurance that Jesus is priest and king and that he has received all authority on earth and in heaven? How does believing this truth help you to deal with everyday situation in your life with the uncertainty of the future? Please answer in the comment section below. Thank you for watching today. God bless you, and we'll see you right back here tomorrow.